Hi, this is James Turp from ABSA Asset Management and bringing you the January 2022 Saab MPC outcome update for the first MPC of 2022 and of course straight out of the gates with a 25 basis point rate hike. Pretty much completely expected by the market and analysts alike, so no real surprises there. Let's go through what the thinking was as explained by the governor and what we think could happen from here. So firstly, from the inputs to their models, there was a big adjustment to the CPI outlook specifically for first quarter of this year, 2022, moving higher from 4.6% to 5.6% in the first quarter, and then other gradual increases across the rest of the year. So where we were sitting at 4.3% inflation for 2022 they've moved it up to 4.9 so a significant increase there for 23 4.5 percent and 2024 also 4.5 percent so no real change in those outer years but a big move up in 2022 then a big move down for gross domestic product or growth they uh, had made a, a couple of forecasting um, errors, they say, in the Q3 and Q4 of 21 figures, moving it as a result, the annual from 5.2 down here to 4.8% for 2021. 2022 remains steady at 1.7%. Then also the output gap. That's the difference between actual and potential growth. A negative output gap becoming more negative. So for 2021, going from minus 2.1 to 2.6. And this year, minus 1.3 to minus 1.7. It does close off sooner, though, in 2024. So... Those are the big changes, I guess. And then they talk about the risks to the outlook. And this is always important. So the risks to growth they see as balanced. So that's a pretty steady outlook. But what they do highlight is that the risks to the inflation outlook are to the upside. And that's sensible to note. Talking about fuel price and food prices particularly. And of course, with the oil price where it is at the moment, sitting close to $90 a barrel. That is of concern, of course, going forward and, um, and food prices as well. Now, I did find of particular interest to me was uh, the comment that they say a particular risk arises from the possibility of faster normalization of global policy rates than is currently built into the forecast, which assumes some rate hikes to begin around June of 2022. What we heard from the Federal Reserve Bank this week was the following from Governor Jerome Powell, that the committee is of a mind to raise the Fed funds rate at the March meeting, assuming that the conditions are appropriate for doing so. So perhaps a little bit of a warning there and a more hawkish that they've, they've assumed in this MPC that rate hikes start in general, they say, closer to June, whereas we heard from the Fed that they are ready to go in March if the conditions are appropriate. So generally, those are the risks and those would, would say that there will, we can expect further hikes this year. How much can we expect? And that's interesting because, of course, we know they have the quarterly projection model and that uh, forecasts where uh, interest rates should be at the end of this year and at the end of next year, they moved both of those down. So interest rate from 5.17 at the end of this year to 491. So basically saying there's another 91 basis points of hikes over the remaining five meetings. So that's an average of 18 basis points. So almost a hike at every meeting. So the QPM is still saying that, that hikes are required. And then there's a further um, 93 basis points for the year 2023. So that divided by six gives us 15 basis points at every meeting. So the forecast for rates come a little bit lower despite, of course, 
uh, inflation rising in the short term. But of course, they've kept their 2023 and 24 inflation unchanged. So an interesting meeting, but through uh, to the, the high quality uh, MPC that we have, um, a calm and moderate statement delivered. I think the four to one vote was an interesting one. Most of the market expecting that to be a unanimous call. So still showing that there is dovish members on the MPC, at least one at this point, saying that no change was necessary. And when asked afterwards whether they discussed hiking in 50 basis point increments, that was not discussed, according to the governor, only whether to or not hike was the discussion. So rather dovish in that um, in that respect. Finally, they conclude that volatile conditions are expected because of this normalization and to the capital flow volatility that could result. So they remain data dependent going forward. So I think from here, uh, we, we can expect to see more hikes. And perhaps, you know, if the Fed on the 16th of March, which is a week ahead of our own MPC, do in fact increase rates, then we probably expect another hike um, at the next MPC. But certainly the market was expecting a more hawkish result this time and it didn't come through. So with regards to our fixed income portfolios, duration had been kept quite short on the income fund, so that will benefit. We will get a move higher in the yields in our short duration and income funds, so that will be good. And uh, the funds are adequately positioned for further tightening during the course of this year. So a pretty, um, a, a pretty uh, good MPC once again. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Thank you. Mm-hmm.